Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and in this video we are going to be doing chair yoga. So we'll be doing the whole entire practice utilizing a chair and I do suggest using a chair that is similar to this. So this is my kitchen table dining chair. Um, you'll, you could also utilize a folding chair and those are just a couple of different examples of chairs that will be helpful in this practice. I wouldn't recommend using a big plush sofa chair. Um, so we'll just want something with a back of some sort. Um, and we'll be sitting in the chair, we'll be getting up and out of the chair. Um, and notice that my back of my chair is pretty tall, um, but it doesn't have to be tall necessarily. So um, there's this hole right here. Um, and even at this height, which is kind of at my hip width, a hip height, that works great as well. So uh, we'll get started right away in a seat. And find a position for yourself in the chair so that you can sit up really tall. So um, I'm actually not leaning onto the back of the chair. Rather, I'm just kind of sitting right at the center. And you can place your palms either face down on your thighs, face up on your thighs, whatever feels the most comfortable to you. And of course, take these first few moments to get any fidgeting out of the way. So trying to find the sweet spot in your seat. And we won't be in this position for very long. So just allow yourself to sink in. And it helps if you can bring your gaze downwards or close your eyes. And with your eyes gently closed or your gaze softly down, just begin to bring your awareness into your body. Notice the position of your feet. And see if you can relax your legs at all. And as we're not using the back of our chair to support us, we're using our core. So notice if you can sit up a little bit taller, engaging your abdomen. Draw your shoulder blades together behind you to expand your chest. And relax your shoulders down and away from your ears as you reach the top of your head up towards the ceiling, lengthening all sides of your neck. And then just noticing how your body feels and maybe tuning into the rhythm of your breath. Bringing your awareness down into your belly. Begin to observe your belly inflate as you breathe in. And observe your breath, your breath cinching in towards the midline of your body into your spine as you breathe out. Take three rounds of breath together. Let go of all of your air. Big exhale breath. Sit up tall. Breathe into your nose. Full inhale. Open your mouth in a slow, controlled exhale. Two more. Through your nose, breathe in. Fill up your belly. 
open mouth exhale. One more time together, deep, full breath in. Let your belly get large. Let your rib cage expand. Open your mouth and softly release your air. If your eyes are closed, gently blink your eyes open as you bring your gaze downwards. Let your eyesight reacclimate to what is around you. And then from here, we'll scooch ourselves forwards towards the edge of our chair. Um, and what that is doing is helping to ensure that our feet are grounded. So if you are able to be a little bit further back and your feet are grounded on the floor and you feel supported in your legs, that's perfect. Um, and feet are just hip-width distance apart. You can place your hands on your thighs or on your knees. As you breathe in, find cow pose. Look forwards as you draw your chest forwards and expand your chest. As you exhale, cat, round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest, and dome your upper back behind you. Inhale, cow pose. Belly tips forwards, expand through your collarbone. Exhale, cat, round your spine, curl and push. And I'll turn to the other side so you can see me. Again, inhale, cow pose, draw your belly and chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, cat, round your spine and push your upper back behind you. Take a few more of these on your own, moving slowly at your own pace. And know that it's really important to be practicing spinal movement every single day. So spinal movement, here we are extending the spine in cow pose. And then we are flexing the spine here in cat. And then now we'll want to find some rotation in the spine. So I'll just be turning over to my right. And if you would like to also rotate your body towards the side so you can use the back of your chair here, that's really helpful. Breathe in and breathe out. Sit up really tall as you breathe in. Lengthen the space between your hips and your neck. And as you exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper, keeping your hips facing the same direction as your knees, so facing forwards. And this twist is happening from your belly button up, so from your thoracic spine all the way up through your cervical spine, which is your neck. very carefully inhale come back to center and then I'm gonna go ahead and face the other way so that I can use the back of the chair again as you breathe in sit up tall and as you exhale twist over to the opposite direction that you just did again continuing to lengthen your side bodies as you breathe in so the sides of our waist the space in between our hips and our shoulders create length there with each inhale breath and allow your body to twist even deeper as you exhale. Again, keeping your hips neutral and then just letting the twist happen from your hips up and utilizing each breath to find depth and to help keep your mind focused. Anytime I notice if I'm in my practice, if my mind begins to wander, just come back to your breath. As you inhale, very carefully unravel your twist. And then I'll face you again. 
We'll come back into a seat wherever your feet can be planted. As you inhale, reach up towards the ceiling for mountain pose. As you push down into your feet, continue to breathe here. As you start to wrap your triceps forwards and then in, your pinkies are kind of rotating forwards and in as well. And then as you lengthen up through your spine, can you get really, really strong in your core? Take one more breath in. As you exhale, back bend. Bend your elbows like a cactus or a goalpost. Look up towards the ceiling. Lift your chest and draw your shoulder blades together. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up and overhead. As you exhale, bring your right hand down to your chair and reach your left arm up and over. And then as you're pushing down into your seat, see if you can push a little bit more firmly into your left sitting bone and reach all the way up and over through your left pinky finger. Create lots of length through the side body. Take another inhale breath, get long through your left side. And with your right side, cinch a little bit more as you exhale, going a little bit deeper into the side body stretch. Inhale, come back up to center. As you exhale, bring your left hand down to your chair. Reach your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Get all of that length. And then as you exhale, start to cinch down into the left side of your waist, reaching up and over, getting long through your right side body. Again, see if you can create tons of space between your right sitting bone as that pushes down and then create the length as you reach up through your right pinky finger. You can either keep your gaze neutral, which is forwards. You can look up towards your right elbow or you can even look down. And you can play around with all of those variations and give yourself a little neck massage. Inhale, come back up to mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. So I'll reach my arms out wide as I dive my chest forwards with a flat back. And then I'll collapse my belly over my thighs as I relax my neck, head is reaching down towards the floor and my arms are just relaxed down by my legs. From here, inhale, find halfway lift. So I'll slide my fingers right on top of my feet, kind of cuffing around my ankles, and then finding a halfway lift as I lift my spine, I'm hinging at my hips, and then my back is really flat, it's straight, and it's long. I'm using my core to keep my chest up, and I'll face the side again here so you can see what I'm doing here. So back is flat, core is on. Shoulder blades pull together to expand your chest. Take one more breath in. Exhale forward fold. Relax your belly over your thighs, chin to chest. Let your neck relax. Awesome. Inhale, mountain pose. Stand up, get tall, get big. I'm going to stay facing the side so you can see what I'm doing from the side profile. Exhale, back bend. Bend your elbows, lift your chest, look up, let it feel good across your upper body. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, right arm down, stretch up and over with your left arm. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, left hand down, reach up and over with your right arm. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, forward fold, dive forward, leading with your chest, and then relaxing your upper body over your legs at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift, strong core to protect your spine. Expand your chest forwards and out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, stand up, get big and tall, reach all the way up and energize through your fingertips. Exhale, big back bend, bend your elbows, lift your chest. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, right arm down, stretch up and over to your right. Lengthen your left side body. 
Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, left arm down, reach up and over to your left side. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, forward fold, lead with your chest. Use your whole exhale breath to get down into the forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, strong back, open chest. Exhale, forward fold. And then very carefully inhale, slowly roll up all the way to a seat. Good, so from here, I'm going to face, if I was sitting in my chair facing forwards, I'm gonna uh, rotate to the right at a kind of a diagonal more towards the back side of the chair with my right leg bent over the right side of the chair. My left leg is going to straighten back behind me and I'm on the ball of my left foot. So you can see that my left toes are tucked and then the back heel is lifted. So we're here in crescent lunge with the support of the chair. Reach your arms up and overhead. Perfect. Good. So just like in regular crescent lunge, you want to have a neutral pelvis. So what that means is you'll notice if your pelvis is tilting forwards or if it's tilting back too much and you want to find that sweet spot right in the middle and you'll utilize your core to find your neutral pelvis. Notice if you need to bend your back knee or if it works to keep it straight for stabilization and support. Play around with both and see what's gonna work for you. And then feel this big stretch in the front of your left hip. Awesome, take another breath in, lengthen your side bodies. Exhale, warrior two, back heel is gonna spin down, arms open to a T shape. Good, now from here, See if you can, again, neutralize your pelvis. It's really easy to come out of neutralization in the pelvis here because we're um, having the support of the chair right underneath us. So make sure that you're being aware of what's happening in your pelvis and that you're maintaining core engagement the whole time. Look towards your right middle finger, sit up really tall, and reach through your fingertips in opposition. Take an inhale breath. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bring your left arm down your back thigh. Reach your right arm up, up, up towards the ceiling. Continue to press your right knee back behind you towards the back of the chair. So you're using your right glute to open up your right hip socket. And then you're breathing into your right side body as you first reach up through your right fingertips to get length in the side body. And then keep that length as you begin to reach back towards your left leg behind you. Take another inhale breath. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand comes down to your front thigh. Reach your left arm up and over towards the sky. So here, make sure that you're not dunking your weight into your right thigh and just using that right elbow to lean into, but rather you're again, being super aware of what's happening in your core. Use your obliques to keep your torso lifted and then begin to press your right arm into your thigh, thigh into your arm as you start to rotate your chest upwards towards the ceiling. Finding just a little gentle twist. Take an inhale breath as you lengthen the space between your hips and shoulders. And as you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Awesome, inhale back to reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, right hand down to your thigh. Carefully bend your back knee, bring your knees together towards the front center of your chair, and we'll switch to the other side. So left leg 
is going to be facing at a diagonal a little bit closer towards the back of the chair. Right leg will straighten up back behind you. And then again, tuck your back toes, lift your back heel up and away from the ground. Reach your arms up and overhead and continue to breathe here on your own. See again if you can neutralize your pelvis engage your core, see if you need to bend or straighten your back leg any more than it is already. Energize through your fingertips. Again, just like mountain pose, your triceps are wrapping forwards and in as well as your pinky fingers, they follow. Take another breath in. Exhale, warrior two, back heel spins down, arms open to a T shape. And then again, notice if you can recruit the strength of your abs a little bit more here to neutralize your pelvis. From here, we are squeezing and engaging the left glute to maintain your left knee pressing behind you. Think external rotation in your left hip. Take an inhale breath, reach across your chest. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm reaches up, slide your right arm down your back thigh. Continue to breathe here on your own. Find lots of length through your left side body as you reach up all the way to touch the ceiling and then continue to keep that length as you reach back, finding a slight bend in the right side of your torso. Take another breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Left arm comes down onto your front thigh. Reach your right arm up and overhead. Good, and then again from here, you still maintain the left glute engagement to keep opening up your left hip. You're still pressing down into your left arm with the simultaneous pressure of your left arm, uh, left leg into your arm so that you stay light in your upper body and twist through your torso. Continue to breathe here and as you breathe in, think about lengthening your torso and as you breathe out, twisting just through your upper body, rotating your chest upwards. Inhale, reverse warrior again. Reach your right arm down, reach your left arm high. Create lots of space through the side body. Breathe in. Exhale, left hand to your thigh. Bend your back knee. Carefully bring your knees back to center so you could rotate to the other side. Right leg is forwards, left leg behind you as it straightens with a soft bend into the leg. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up and overhead. This time as we exhale, we'll find a gentle back bend. Bend your elbows, lift your chest, ignite your upper back muscles. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two, back heel spins down, root into your back foot, find that capital T in your arms. Breathe in. As you exhale, draw your shoulder blades together, expand your chest even more. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back, lengthen your side body. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm down, left arm reaches up and overhead. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, right hand down to your thigh, bring your legs together at center, and we'll switch to the left side. Left leg is forwards, right leg will straighten back behind you. Back heel is lifted, inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. This time, exhale, back bend, bend your elbows, elevate your chest and ribs. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, back heel spins down, arms open wide. Breathe in, reverse warrior, lengthen through your left side body. Exhale, extended side angle, left arm down, reach your right arm up and overhead. 
Breathe in, reverse warrior. Retract your left shoulder down and away from your left ear. Exhale, left hand down to your thigh. Bring your knees together at center of your chair. One more round, both sides. Right leg is forwards. Left leg is straight back behind you. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Exhale, back bend, open your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Use your core as you shift forwards. Inhale, reverse warrior up and back. Exhale, right hand down to your thigh. Bring everything to center and switch to the left side. Left leg is forwards, right leg straight back behind you. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Arms reach up. Exhale, back bend. Expand your chest. Lift up and away from the ground. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Strong through your biceps and triceps. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, strong through your obliques and core, your whole core area. <laughs> Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, left hand down. Bring everything back to center. Good. Take a few rounds of breath. You can have your hands resting on your palms or on your thighs. And if you feel comfortable doing so, close your eyes. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Again, deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Awesome, so let's stand up. We're gonna come over to the back side of your chair. And again, like I said, it's okay if your chair is tall like mine or if it's at hip height. Um, there's like this little hole right here that I could also grab as well. Um, so pick your own preference, what is gonna work best for you. And um, you're going to have your left hand closer to the chair um, and then your right leg will be the farthest away from your chair and you will start to root down your weight into your right foot you can pop your left heel up so that you're balancing on your left big toe and then again you have your left hand supporting you with the chair Awesome, so you can stay right here. Maybe release your hand away from the chair and start to work on balance with your big toe. And if you feel comfortable doing so, go ahead and lift your left knee up in line to the same height as your left hip. Good, and then reach your right arm up, up, up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, bring your right elbow down towards your rib cage, and you're gonna slowly begin to hinge forwards, hinging at your hips, and then sending your left leg back behind you. So coming into an airplane variation. So airplane pose, we're looking to create this capital T shape in our bodies. Now it's okay if you are kind of up here in this diagonal shape. Um, what's most important is that we're keeping a straight solid line of energy from the top of your head out through your left heel. So you can be here in a diagonal or you could be here in a capital T or somewhere in between. That's totally perfect wherever you are. So we're in your airplane, take an inhale breath, reach through your back left heel and through your right fingertips, breathe in. As you exhale, stand up very carefully and pull your knee up and your elbow into your side body. 
Good. Inhale, re-extend as you hinge forwards, lowering your chest, extending your left leg and right arm. Exhale, stand up and hug it in. Again, inhale, re-extend, airplane pose, hinge forwards. Exhale, curl it in. Good. Keep going. Keep breathing. Remember, what's important here is that solid line from the top of your head out through your left heel. So don't worry so much about paralleling your chest towards the floor and matching that with your left leg. Think about finding an internal rotation in your left thigh meaning that your left inner thigh is spiraling up and in rather than down. So if you were to think about where your feet are pointing, your toes are pointing, your toes are pointing straight down to the floor with even your left pinky toe pointing down to the floor rather than it pointing to the left side. That would be an external rotation in the hip. Good, couple more here. Again, you're moving at your own pace. As you inhale, re-extend. Exhale, curl it in. One more time together. Breathe in, extend, airplane pose. Exhale, curl it in. Bring your left foot down and just touch out your legs. So bending, 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 moving, 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 bringing some movement back into your standing leg. Now from here, we'll take our left foot, root it into the ground, lift your right knee up in line with your hip, you might want to stay there and just continue to work on building strength in your left standing leg. You can always use the support of the chair for balance. Otherwise, if you want to move on, cross your, left, your right ankle over your left thigh for a standing figure four. This is a great place to stay as you continue working on building the external rotation and that movement in your right hip. Or if you'd like a little bit more sensation, start to bend your left knee, sit back and down into an invisible chair right behind you. You're using your chair as support as you need it. And make sure that you're flexing your right toes towards your left knee so that you protect your knee joint. As you sit a little bit deeper in your chair, send your tailbone back as you sit low. Start to feel your left hamstring and glute engage here. And then right away notice, and I can notice right here in me, if your right hip is lower than your left. And if it is, use your right oblique muscles to lift your right hip up and then keep your hips level as you send your hips back and down. Good, inhale, stand up, bring your right foot back down, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. So I'm gonna step over here so that my right hand is on the chair, and I'll be rooting into my left foot this time. So lifting up onto the right big toe first. Again, this is a great place to just work on balance. So you're building strength in your left ankle and foot, building stability with your left leg muscles. You can either let go of the chair or perhaps you can lift your left, uh, excuse me, your right knee up in line with your hip flex your right toes up towards the ceiling. And again, you can keep your hand on the chair or not, up to you. And as you breathe in, reach your, ar your left arm up and overhead. As you exhale, bring your elbow down towards your rib cage. Now, as you inhale, you'll hinge your upper body forwards and send your right leg back behind you for airplane pose. 
pause here and find that internal rotation right away in the right thigh. So right pinky, uh, pinky toe points down as your right inner thigh spirals up and extend your left arm forwards. Breathe in. Exhale, stand up, curl your knee and elbow towards your midline. Again, inhale, airplane pose, hinge forwards, kick back through your right heel, reach through your left fingertips. Exhale, stand up and curl, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend, find airplane. Exhale, curl, elbow to knee. Continue to go at your own pace, breathing in your airplane pose as you hinge forwards and breathing out as you stand up and curl, squeezing at your core. When you find yourself in airplane, remind yourself of the internal rotation in the right thigh. And then also remind yourself in your airplane pose, squeeze your right glute to drive the heel up. As you stand up, sit up, stand up tall, squeeze at your core, squeeze into the midline of your body, and you're engaging your low abs to pull your knee up and in. Make sure that you're breathing with each movement and using your whole breath for the entire transition. As you are moving, your right foot is flexed. You're using your breath to move in and out. Two more rounds. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Inhale, airplane pose. Exhale, stand up, squeeze, activate your core. And then bring your right foot down. Cha-cha out your knees, your legs. Root into your right foot this time. Use the support of the chair. You can, again, stay up on your left big toe. Practice keeping your left knee lifted and building strength and stability here now in the right leg, or we'll find figure four variation here. Your left ankle will cross over your right thigh so that you're having that external rotation in the left hip. You can stay here in your standing figure four or start to bend into your right knee. Send your tailbone back. And you're using the chair for support and balance here, but you're not leaning into it. You're using your own body strength here. Sit back and down into this imaginary chair behind you. Keep your spine long. Keep your core engaged. Draw your shoulder blades together to open up your chest. And it's helpful to keep your gaze on an, at a non-moving object to maintain your balance. And then again, notice if your left hip is lower than the right hip this time. Just activate and cinch at the left oblique to lift your left hip up in line with the right. Keep your hips at the same height as you bend a little bit deeper into your right knee, sit low. Awesome, inhale back up to standing and shake it out. Perfect, so now we'll come into um, kind of a warrior one variation here with the chair. If at any time you need to grab some water as well, please do. Um, and so from here, as we find our warrior one variation, you'll be about a foot away from your chair. I have my left hand resting onto the back of the chair. So set your right foot on top of your cushion, your seat in the middle of your chair. And what we'll be doing here is hinging forwards and then pressing back 
So right away, I'm gonna tell that I would like a little bit more sensation. So I'm gonna step my foot off the chair and walk my feet a little bit back, uh, probably just a couple of inches. And then again, I'll pop my foot right in the middle of the seat. And then I'll lean forwards into the chair. Now my left heel is grounded. All of my toes are facing forwards. And then both of my hips are facing forwards as well. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, bend a little bit deeper into your front knee and drive your left heel down and into the ground. And just like we did in the airplane variation, you are looking for an internal rotation in the back thigh. So the back legs in seam of your pant is going to want to rotate up to find that internal rotation. Continue to bend deeper into your front knee and find the degree that's going to work for you. You want to feel a little bit sensation, but we don't want it to be painful. Take an inhale breath, stand up tall through your spine. As you exhale, sink a little bit deeper into your front knee. As you inhale, start to straighten your front leg, pop your front toes up, and then flex your foot back towards your face as you hinge at your hips and lean forwards. Good, breathe in, bring your foot down, hinge forwards, keep your back heel rooted. Exhale, send your hips back as you hinge at your hips. Breathe in, bend the knee, lean forwards. Exhale, straighten the leg, Hinge at your hips. Breathe in, hinge forwards. Exhale, straighten the leg, flex your toes back. And it's just like a halfway lift in your spine. Chest is open, spine is long. Inhale, bend the front knee, root into your toes, hinge forwards. And exhale, send your hips back, flex your toes. If you feel comfortable now, so you can either continue with what we're doing, moving slowly in and out, or if you feel comfortable removing your hand, your left hand away from the chair, you can start to find a gentle rotation towards the outer edge of your right leg towards the foot. So again, let's breathe in, bend into the front knee. As we exhale, we'll strain the front leg. You could stay here or twist towards the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, hinge forwards, bend into the front knee. Exhale, twist towards the outer edge of your right foot. Continue to breathe here and continue to move through these shapes at your own pace. We'll just be here for a couple more rounds of breath and you're moving at the pace of your own breath. We want our breath to be smooth, to be stable, and controlled. Awesome, from here, bend, a little, bend into your front knee and we'll stay and pause. Bring your right hand on top of your right knee. You could stay here, or if you would like to, start to strengthen your left calf. We'll find a couple of calf raises very carefully. First, engage your core, and then rise up onto your back tippy toes. Lift your left heel as high as you can away from the ground, and then slowly lower down. Breathe in. Exhale, lift your heel as high as you can. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. We have four. Squeeze. Three. Lift and squeeze. Two. Squeeze. Last one, lift and squeeze. Lower your heel down. Bend into your front knee once more. From here, you can either find an open arm twist You'll keep your chest lifted and start to open your arms towards your right side, add a capital T shape with your arms, 
or you can take your left elbow and hook it to the outside of your right thigh for a revolved warrior one, a revolved pyramid variation. So elbow is hooking to the outside of your thigh. You can bring your palms together and then start to press your elbow into your thigh, twisting deep, 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 lengthening your torso as you breathe in and twisting as you breathe out. If you're in this revolved pyramid variation, you're pressing your elbow into your thigh and using that as leverage to twist. If you are in this opened arm variation, you really are working to use your abdominal muscles here to twist and rotate. Draw your shoulder blades together wherever you are. Keep your chest open. Breathe in and breathe out. Very carefully unwind wherever you are and then help yourself down. And then we'll switch on over to the other side. So now my right hand is resting on the back side of the chair and my left foot is going to come up onto the center of the cushion. And then again, I'm going to, now that you know where we're going, start to play around and lean and see if this is a good place for your right foot to stay. I'm going to take my foot off and step it a little bit farther back with my right foot so I can get a little bit deeper into this stretch. Awesome, so I've got my right foot grounded, right hand on the back of the chair, left foot is at the middle of the seat. And then you'll just start to bend into your front knee, lean into it, keep your back heel grounded, and then press it back as you straighten the front leg, pop your left toes up, to flex towards your face and you're hinging forwards at your hip. Good, breathe in, hinge forwards, bend in the knee. Exhale, straighten your front leg, flex your toes back, keep your spine long. Breathe in, hinge forward, lead with your chest and your hips. As you exhale, draw your hips back, hinge at your hips and lead forward with your chest. And then we'll just find this a couple times on your own. Again, using your breath here. Breathing in through your nose. And if you're wanting to release some heat out of your mouth, if you are wanting to continue to build some heat, you breathe in and out of your nose to build some heat build uh, your internal temperature. I'm feeling pretty warm again today, so I'm going to breathe out of my mouth. And you should feel the sensation across the back of your right thigh when you hinge forwards. And then as you straighten your front leg, you'll feel it definitely in that left hamstring and calf as well. Awesome, again, now from here, you can keep continuing with this forward and back motion, keeping your chest pretty neutral and leading with your chest the whole time. Otherwise, as you hinge your hips back and straighten your front leg, if you feel comfortable removing your hand from the chair, you can reach towards the outer edge of your left foot. And that can be up here on your thigh, your calf, or it could be towards the pinky toe. Breathe in as you hinge forward, bend into the front knee. As you exhale, hips back, straighten your front leg and reach to the outer edge of your left foot. And you can place your left hand on your left hip to stabilize. You can grab onto the chair at any time to help with the transition. And again, you're moving at your own pace, being gentle with yourself. And noticing if there's any spots that are sticky, 
If there are any areas where you feel tightness or stickiness, you're welcome to stay there. Continue to use your breath to transition. So you want to use your whole exhale breath to rotate and reach to the outer edge of your leg and use your whole inhale to rise back up and bend into the front knee as you lean forwards. Couple more rounds here, moving at your own pace, nice and slow. Try to keep your chest lifted the whole time and your spine long. Awesome. Now from here, we'll find ourselves leaning forwards with the bent front knee. Use your chair for support here. You can stay with uh, this stretch right here or we'll find a couple of calf raises. Utilize your inner thigh strength and your core to stabilize first and then press up onto your back uh, tippy toes, lift up onto the ball of your right foot and then slowly lower down very carefully. Exhale as you press up and lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press, press up, lift up, squeeze. Even I feel my right quadricep working a lot here. Lower down. We got four more. Squeeze and lift. Lower down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Lower down. Squeeze and lift. Lower down. Last one. Squeeze and lift. Lower down. Awesome. Take a moment here to stretch out your right calf as you hinge forwards. You can keep your chest lifted for an open twist variation or our revolved lunge variation with elbow to thigh. So either chest stays lifted and you're twisting to your left with arms open to a T-shape or hands come together in front of your chest. Lean forwards and hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Hands come together in front of your chest. Elbows are wide, shoulders are wide. Press firmly into your palms as you begin to twist with each exhale. As you find length in your spine with each inhale, you use that inhale breath to stabilize and you use the exhale breath to go a little bit deeper. Continue to breathe, continue to stay focused and keep your gaze focused as well as a non-moving object. Very carefully unwind use your chair for support come back out cha-cha the legs good have a seat again i'm gonna find a place in my chair where i can keep my feet grounded breathe in for mountain pose reach up Exhale, forward fold. Lead with your chest all the way down, cascading over your thighs. We'll stay paused here in this forward fold. And if you want more sensation, you can root heavy into your feet, crawl your fingertips forwards, and use your... Uh, hamstring excuse me your quadricep strength to extend your legs as you stand up stack your tailbone over your ankles so that we are using the stacking and alignment of our bones to support us and relax your neck and your shoulders let your head relax If you are in a standing forward fold, bend your knees very carefully, set yourself back onto your chair, and then very slowly rise back 
up to a seat. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears, roll them back and down onto your spine. A couple more times, just like that. Either placing your palms on your belly or face down on your thighs. Bring your gaze towards your nose tip or close your eyes. Be here for a few minutes actually. And in these couple more minutes, we will be focusing our, on our breath and sitting up tall. And in these few moments, if you notice that your mind is wandering, bring your attention to observing each breath in and out. If there are any noises that are coming in, see if you can just listen to the sounds of those noises rather than attaching any thought to what that noise is. Just listen to the noise and allow it to eventually fade away. Keeping your eyes softly down or closed. Begin to find a deeper breath in and out. Keeping your eyes gently closed, you can look over to your right and slowly over to your left, awakening your neck. Reach your arms up and overhead, big breath in, reach up tall. As you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your chest. The lightness and peace in me acknowledges and respects the lightness and peace in you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.
Have a beautiful rest of your day or your evening whenever you are watching this video. And I hope that you take care and let me know if you have any questions or requests. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.